If a negative thought comes to mind, like you're not this and you're not that, because those thoughts are always lingering. You're not, you're not, you're not. I'm like, you're a liar. I am. I am what I am. You can't tell me what I am. I'm a child of God. If he's amazing, then I'm amazing. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking that. I'm, I'm, that's it. People always ask me that question, if I can go back and tell my younger self anything. I don't think I could tell her anything because she won't listen. When you're young, you're reckless. You don't want to hear to love yourself. Will she listen? I don't, I don't think so. But that's probably one of the things I tell her. The thing I love about my body now is that I can hear it speak to me. You know, you, after you go through so much in your life, you can hear your body say, okay, enough partying or enough doing this, enough doing that. My body image and self-esteem is at a pretty good place. I've grown to be comfortable with what I have, and what I have is all I'm gonna get is me. You know, my long legs, my waist, whatever it is, I, I, I have it. And use the things in the world to make it better if need be. Nails, hair, sneakers, clothes, jewelry, <laughs> lipstick, those things, you know, help you to put on your physical look. But as long as it's not carrying me and I'm carrying it, my self-esteem is good. Well, when I was younger, I had a problem with my feet. <laughs> I, you know, my toes were really long, my feet were really long and flat. I don't have an arch. That, it was my feet that really bothered me. You know, I, I take care of my feet really well now, so I, it doesn't bother me as much getting pedicures often and putting lots of lotion on it and not wearing shoes too tight. My self-care routine, it always starts from the inside. I have to build myself up inside spiritually. So I start in the morning with prayer. First fruits of my day go to God, go to prayer, get myself dressed, and then I go to the gym. I drink a protein shake. I drink a lot of water. I try to drink at least a half a gallon of water at the gym. Through the day, I try to eat as healthy as possible. Your salads, fish, and then of course, like I get facials as well. It's facials like maybe once a month. I scrub my body with salts and stuff like that. Not all the time, but I do. Water is extremely, extremely, I can't even stress it enough. I think the water and the prayer are the most important things. Prayer keeps you conscious of what your identity really is. Your identity is not really all the stuff you put on. Your identity is being able to see through it and be confident and just use it as a cherry on the top of the cake, as a perk. My biggest spiritual practice is, would be the prayer. It would be prayer and meditating and reading and trying to eat right, trying to think positive. And just if, if you get everything moving and keep everything moving, you won't have to do so much. My best piece of advice is keep moving. You don't have to train like a maniac. Do, take a walk, take a jog, do something. I practice positive thinking all day, every day, because 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, there's a negative thing circling. So you have to constantly be like, nope, 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 I don't receive that. And some things you receive, you know, but then the, for the most part, it's like, no, I'm tired of receiving negativity towards myself. Then you're able to show love to everyone else when you constantly practicing that all day. I'm most proud of my entire body. I love my legs, I love my waist, I love my hips, I love anything curvy. <laughs> I've worked so hard for it, but that's because I want what I want, physically, spiritually, emotionally. I just love the fact that in my mind, I can wake up at 6 a.m. and go to, and get ready for the gym, and I can consistently do this. I'm, I'm happy about that. I have a trainer, I train four times a week. It's full body. Sometimes I tell them, okay, well, let's concentrate on the legs, or let's concentrate on the arms, or let's go hard on the abs. So it's whatever I choose, whatever body parts I, I want it to be. And then I do cardio at the end of the week, like Friday, Saturday cardio. I mean, have to train like an athlete, this is the game. <laughs> I always have moments of when I'm training, I wanna give up, but I don't. That's the moment where I just bury my head in it and I just go. The moment when I feel just like, can I just go home now? That's the moment, <laughs> I just keep going. I feel great in my body now. Like I'm able to look in the mirror and say, you look good, Mary. You look good, I love you. I'm, I'm, I'm able to do that. Oh, it took me some years to get here, <laughs> but I'm here.